Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. What a weekend, what a weekend, what a weekend. A lot of us have been waiting for this for months now. Uh, the cryptocurrency market correcting a little bit. Bitcoin uh, down 4.4%, Ethereum 3.37, and XRP only 0.88% on the 24 hour. The crypto market as a whole, uh, just shy of 213 billion. And this is how it starts, right? Bitcoin dominance almost at 60%. I think it actually hit 60% on the weekend. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, Binance coin, look at this. Binance coin seems like it's one of the only coins that's doing really well. And after the hack, uh, it was uh, brought to my attention. Uh, this is a tweet from at Crypto Wolf XRP. Binance will fully resume withdrawals and deposits by Tuesday. The exact time has not been specified yet, but they will notify us. And so Tuesday, tomorrow, Binance will fully restore its operations. And uh, some people down here are writing nine. So it looks as if that nine o'clock, I don't know in what time zone, tomorrow, Tuesday, Binance will fully restore operations. Good to know because I know a lot of you guys have your crypto on Binance and maybe you are looking to take it off the exchange or put more money on the exchange and uh, you weren't allowed withdrawals or deposits. So it's good to know that the Binance team is doing their due diligence, working around the clock to get this sorted. And so let's take a look at Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin on a daily, by the way, guys. And uh, look at this. So we had this huge move up. May 11th, which was Saturday. And then uh, yesterday we had a bit of a bearish day, a bit of a move down, but look at the size of that wick and the, the size of that tail compared to the body. Okay. We know, okay. So we can see it's red. Okay. But compared to this, look at the volume down here. Now, large volume bars, almost identical in volume size. Yet on this day, uh, we didn't see enough sellers and we saw more buyers, which uh, brought price up. It brought price all the way from around 6300 to about uh, finally closing off at about 7220 uh, But then on Sunday, we saw the exact same amount of volume, but there were not enough sellers to fulfill buyer demand. So the price fluctuation didn't actually change as much as this. So could you imagine if the price went from here all the way back down there? Well, that would mean that there was equal buying and selling demand as the previous day. But here, uh, price didn't change. So what that means, that's good for us. What that means is that there is enough buying pressure to fulfill the selling pressure. But over yesterday's down day, of course, there are going to be people who are not happy. And so I actually think it's quite comical that these pathetic fools even take the time to type out their inane drivel. You know, it's unfortunate that you don't have to take an IQ test before being allowed to use the internet. But alas, this is the kind of stuff we get. Uh, Eric Servelt, XRP is a stable coin, 30 cents still, time to move on, people. Uh, we got Ionut Valentin. I just sold last night around 33, all my Ripple XRP, and I'm moving my money to a real coin with volatility and real use for people. Uh, Mick S. I do not understand that people continue to believe in XRP. It is clear that this is a bullish coin. I think he means that this is not a bullish coin. I got out a year ago and earned more with different alts than with XRP. So get out and make money elsewhere in crypto. Whatever you say, pal. Um... BPAT, XRP is a glass half full, lackluster performance in such a bull crypto market, couldn't even hold 10% gains, barely 3% increase. Boy, these people really don't have a clue. Len, XRP down 4%. Clearly XRP is not a scam coin, but simply a crap coin. Okay, and Rabadone, one of the most ridiculous trolls I know. Yesterday was awesome. My XRP went from 30 cents all the way to 32 cents. Wow, I was almost ready to retire. So exciting to have XRP bags. If you guys can't tell, he's being sarcastic. I wanted to show some of you guys that just because these people really don't get it. They really just don't have a clue. However, they continue to watch my videos, which I, I don't really understand, <laughs> to be honest with you. So guys, as you can see here, I have XRP on a daily, and I just wanted to throw some numbers at you guys. Uh, let's take a look at BTC as well, uh, because ultimately, um, okay, here's BTC. Uh, we know that it's a first mover. It's the first mover in the space, and when you compare it to any other coin, you're going to notice that right when you look at uh let's just say let's just say stellar okay stellar and you look at that and you look at stellar's performance compared to btc it was also first to move you look at stellar compared to xrp and they are way more similar okay now you look at xrp compared to something like tron okay similar in movement and it's because some of these coins are not at the same price point and uh, of course, we need to see BTC move first. So BTC obviously did this huge move before this day here, but I wanted to just focus on the bullish day we had on Saturday, okay? 
So this is BTC on the daily, but I'm going to look at it on the 35 minute or rather, sorry, the 30 minute. And so I've already kind of outlined price action here and uh, we're going to take, so this is within one 24 hour period, 48 bars on the 30 minute. And this is Bitcoin. Okay. And I did the same with XRP uh, just to show you guys the 30 minute. I'm going to take the beginning of the period to the all time high of each period. And so what kind of numbers do we see here? So BTC versus XRP on May 11th, which was the Saturday. So BTC went from 65, 23, 13 to 74, 45. Okay. So that was from here to here to all to, to the high of that day. And what did that represent guys? That represented a 14.1% gain for BTC. Now I know BTC moved before that. I know that. I'm sorry guys, this is still XRP. Let me just bring you up the BTC chart. So just gonna show you that. So let's look at those numbers again. 65, 23, 13 to 74, 45. Okay, and this is BTC on a daily. Sorry for that mistake. Going from the beginning of the day to the all time high of that period. Uh, and just to show you guys again, just to reiterate, we know BTC has gone up before that. So it has seen some uh, gains before that. Nevertheless, when you take these isolated moves, so if we look at BTC, on the daily, you can see that there was a significant move on. So this was one of those significant moves on all right, bring it here. This is one of those significant moves on the Saturday. This was another significant move back on April 2nd. Okay, the, the entire trend is bullish, but the point I'm trying to say is when once we saw this significant bullish day, okay, this has been bigger than any day since this day. These are the kinds of special days we have to take into consideration when looking at the full market. This is This is what makes other coins react. So what did we have here? We had BTC going up 14.1%. Now let's look at XRP on the same time frame. So XRP, okay, not as bullish, right? Uh, and as we've seen with some other coins, like when I showed you Tron and XLM, but let's look at XRP on the 30 minute. And so when we take it to the 30 minute and we bring it back here, we've got XRP on the 30 minute. It went from uh, 0.298 cents to 0.341 cents during the same period on the same day. And what does that represent, guys? That represents an increase of 14.4. Yes, actually slightly higher than Bitcoin in that daily increase. And all I'm trying to say to you, I'm not trying to prove that XRP is superior for whatever reasons, but what I'm trying to prove is that although it may not have seemed like a huge move, Okay, we still saw within this time frame, within this one day on Saturday when we had the bullish day, the special bullish day, okay, we'll call it that. We actually saw more movement for XRP than we saw for Bitcoin. I know it doesn't feel that way because Bitcoin has been going up over this longer period of time. But guys, this is what I mean by last and fast. So had this move continued, had we had continued to see huge bullish momentum upward, I think XRP would have surpassed Bitcoin in terms of percentage over the long haul. But we need that fuel, we need that jet fuel, that fire, that gasoline on the fire to continue to make this bull run move up. That all said though, I'm kind of glad that we're retracing a little bit, that we're having uh, a bit of a correction here because ultimately, those kinds of gains are not sustainable. So I'm actually glad we're seeing this. The other thing we've got to remember is that look at XRP's um, volume in the 24 hours versus Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin has always been at the top. Bitcoin is about 25 times or just shy of 25 times more than XRP at 25.2 billion and XRP at 1.7. So we got to remember that when taking into consideration these kinds of moves. And guys, just to reiterate my point, a little further, uh, let's not forget that way at, back here in 2018, sorry, 2017, we didn't see XRP move till like mid, almost mid-December. And it wasn't until Bitcoin really decided to go parabolic. So December 10th was the day. It was all the way here, right? It wasn't until this point here that XRP finally decide, decided to shoot up. But the good news with XRP, guys, is that look at when Bitcoin decided to take a tumble. Okay, so Bitcoin here topped out on December 16th and then went way down here by December 22nd. Tried to form a double top here by January 6th. And so let's look at XRP. What did I say? January 6th was the time for the double top. Okay, guys, and look at XRP. By the time January 6th happened, so once we could see Bitcoin struggling, okay, this was the time 
uh, date wise that we saw Bitcoin struggling. So let's go back to that real quick. Let's see if we can kind of well, no, it didn't. Ah, and then I do that. Uh, it didn't quite show it. But ultimately, this is the January 6th here. So we saw the downward movement and then struggling to come back up. This would have been the indicator if you were into Bitcoin that it was time to get out because we weren't seeing new highs. Volume was starting to decrease. Traders were starting to uh, flip. So buyers were becoming less and less. Sellers were becoming more and more. So this was the indicator here that Bitcoin was going to tumble. But you compare that to XRP. And since XRP is is the lagging uh, of the two we would have been up here still for xrp trading at uh, about two dollars and 65 cents still with a lot of time to get out of the trade because we had bitcoin as the leading indicator to denote that look guys looks like the party's over time to get out of your trades now so that's the benefit of having a lagging uh cryptocurrency that is uh following something like bitcoin and so guys just to reiterate that when you see comments like this and i'm sure a lot of you smart people aren't getting offended or not getting too worried and these people really just you know want to prove something clearly they probably feel very very insecure about themselves so i hope that's not scaring the majority of you away and i think hodling xrp is probably the most prudent thing you can still be doing at this point anyways that's just my opinion but i want to hear what you guys think please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like the video if you like the content i'm providing i always love hearing your comments see you in the next one guys